Alright people, how's it going? Um, so everyone knows that I'm a huge Game Gear fan and everyone knows that I love uh, repairing these things. Now the hardest part about getting these things open is the uh, infamous security screw here. This is where the cartridge goes in. And just here there's a, a security screw. It's actually a game bit uh, piece. There's quite a lot of uh, consoles use this common size. It's a 4.5mm game bit. Uh, the likes of the SNES I think uses it. Along with uh, the Turbo Graphics. So <coughs> ideally you need to get yourself one of these. Which is uh, a bit to fit the screw. But if you're only going to be fixing one of these once. You don't really want to buy a specific tool to, f to use it once and then never to be used again. So a common uh, way of getting these open is to use a, a barrel pen like this clear plastic one. This one is made by Helix. Um, yeah, so we're, we're going to strip the parts out of this pen and we're going to try and open this uh, security bit here using this now this is uh, used by quite a lot of people I have had varying results before I actually bought myself my game bit uh, I used this method a couple of times and once or twice it worked once or twice it didn't so I thought it would make an interesting video just to uh, test this out and we'll see if it works now this security screw has been out but I have put it back in and I've tightened it well with the actual uh, security bit here. So we're going to see if we can remove it with this. Okay, I've stripped the parts out of this pen here, so I'm just left with the clear plastic tube here. Um, at the the tip of the pen here, you can see it sort of tapers down into a, a bit of a point. So this hole here is smaller than the hole on the other end. And for this pen in particular, I'm going to use the most the, the narrow end here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my letter and I'm going to melt the end of this. And when it gets nice and uh, soft, almost runny, uh, I'm going to push it down onto the security uh, bit. And I'm going to hold it in place until it goes hard. And then once it's hard, hopefully we should be able to... Uh, turn the security screw with it. Now these security screws have been in for like anything up to 20 years so they can be extremely tight and a lot of the time they'll release with a click. So this one has been tightened up but yep let's see if this is going to work. So just uh, try and get this thing nice and soft here and then push it down in and hold it maybe take about uh, 30 seconds to a minute before you can release the pressure I'm actually pushing down onto this and trying to hold it as still as possible here. So like I said, I've had uh, mixed results doing this. It's not ideal, but it can get these things open for a uh, a one-time occasion. You know, if you just want to get this open to replace the capacitors and then put it back together. Once you get the security screw out, screw out, you don't need to put it back in again. Or you can with, uh, replace it with just a normal uh, star head screw that fits in the, the other holes. Okay, that feels pretty solid. So, uh, the moment of truth. See if this will uh, actually turn this screw here. Okay. Well, the pen is turning. I'm not sure if the actual screw is turning with it. I can't see. Say, I 
I tightened this thing down well and uh, just to try and simulate or to try and test how well this was going to work. Okay, that's uh, turning a lot freer now, but still not sure if it's actually uh, turning the screw or not. So we'll just keep going, see what happens. And there we go. It worked. So as you can see, the the pen has actually taken the shape of the security bit. So basically, this pen is the same as this now inside, but this is really only only good for you know one or two goes. This is going to break, especially now that it's been melted. But yeah, that just, just goes to show that uh, this method definitely can work for a quick fix if you don't have uh, a proper security bit for this.